Hello, zombies. If you're new here, this is the ghost hunting show where we look for paranormal activity, but we might not find any because we don't fake anything, which means sometimes stuff happens and sometimes it doesn't. We are actually here to answer the question of whether these notorious places are likely to leave you with an unexplainable experience if you were to visit yourself. I know you wanna be spooked, but hear me out. I feel like the truth is always more entertaining than staged entertainment in this case. This is Anthony Padilla. That's me. My name is Mikey, but spelled funny, M-Y-K-I-E. I am a skeptic and very, very, very jumpy, like very easy scared just yes. like a huge scary cat mm -hmm. like what nervous system on high alert 24 7 it's no ridiculous jokes, yeah. i just i can't ever relax so i promise you that even if we don't find a ghost we're still gonna have fun today we are here at the malaya it's always when i'm trying to say the name of the hotel I've done this take 17 times, and every time I try to tell you that we are at the Millennium Biltmore Hotel in Los Angeles, California, my hat falls off, which must be a ghost. 100% confirmed. See, we don't fake anything. I didn't mm -mm. fake that. Mm -mm. It keeps happening. I didn't say that the bar for proof was gonna be high. I just said that, you know, it wouldn't be faked. So my hat might just appear on and off between cuts. Don't ask questions. It's paranormal. It's a paranormal hat. It's from Salem. It has some it's spooky possessed. experiences under its belt. All right, let's get into some history. Peter, do you want to sit with us, or do you want to do you want to keep being cameraman? He's got headphones on. He's taking this very seriously. The Millennium Biltmore Hotel was first built as the Los Angeles Biltmore in October 1st, 1923, which makes it... 99 years old. Yeah, but almost 100. Same thing. It's Centennial. pretty cool. Wait, so it's 98. Yeah. It uh, is 98. This is the 99th yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. We're not great at math. This place is mostly famous for being very heavily Oscar related. The idea of the Oscars was first conceived right here in the Biltmore at a luncheon in 1927. There's a story about the very first Oscar statue being sketched out on a napkin here at the Biltmore. Cute. They just drew a man like. It was designed by Cedric Gibbons, and the Oscars themselves were hosted here several times in the 30s and 40s, and then one more time in 77 for the 50th anniversary. In the Biltmore Bowl, there's a place here called the Biltmore Bowl. It's a Maybe. bowl? It's, it's a bowl, like a fruit bowl. It's a bowl. During World War II, the entire second floor was set up with cots for military personnel. It wasn't like a bad place for soldiers. This was where they came to rest and relax after a hard day's trauma. Contemporaries from that era like The Ambassador and The Cecil Hotel, which you know how I feel. The police are coming to arrest you for talking Seriously, about that like situation. You, you say the word Cecil and you hear sirens. It's yeah. scary. Mm -hmm. These aren't mm -hmm. added in post. No. It's not faked. <laughs> Nothing here is faked. Like I was saying about The Ambassador and The Cecil, they are hotels that kind of came up in the same era as The Biltmore, but they have lost their luxury, whereas The Biltmore has maintained it. It is a beautiful hotel. Like, visually, super stunning. So much detail, and it feels like very old Hollywood. When it was opened, it was considered luxurious that there was a bath in every room. Is there? Let me go look. Oh, fuck, we do have a bath. Luxury. There are 683 guest rooms, but there was originally more than 1,000 rooms back in the day when it made everything like really puny and small. This room is spacious. I was gonna say the opposite, probably. You think this room's small? No. You could play Twister right there. True. There's certainly a floor in here. Many murals include ballroom ceilings painted by Italian artist Giovanni Gian Battista Smraldi. That was a perfect accent. Thank you. Yeah, every <laughs> Italian person right now is just uh, celebrating. Okay, okay, okay. The guy who painted all the ballroom ceilings also worked in the Vatican and the White House. But he liked this place so much that he requested his ashes be housed in the hotel fountain when he died. Are they down there right now? I don't know, I should go find them. How can you be more proud of this hotel than the Vatican, though? I don't think he did the Vatican from scratch. Just the hunch. Did Leonardo da Vinci do the Vatican? DiCaprio. <laughs> the Biltmore is home to a lot of movies, TV shows, and music videos. You guys are probably excited about Delicate by Taylor Swift. I personally am most excited about Overprotected by Britney Spears. It is her best music video. Her best music video. If you've never seen it, the Gold Room acted as a speakeasy during the 1920s Prohibition. So organized criminal activity took place in this building. Not only that, but there are presidential suites in this hotel where many a president has actually stayed here, and there were hidden liquor compartments in the presidential suite. So those presidents <laughs> were getting 
stuff. Yeah. Illegally. While, while, yeah. They're kind of in charge of that stuff, you know? So they're like, no alcohol for the rest of the country, but me? I got my little hidden liquor compartment. Typical government, nothing's changed. <laughs> Other notable guests include A-list names like Al Capone. This is now the second place that we've been ghost hunting that has Al Capone history. Do you know where the other one is? Quiz. Uh, Chateau Marmont. Nope. Flagstaff one. Nope. Salem one. Nope. Queen Mary. Nope. Ohio. Utah. Never stayed in Ohio. Mm. Eastern State Penitentiary. A Eastern State Penitentiary. Yeah, he had a cell. First try. A cell oh, oh, oh because he was a criminal. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But you knew that. I knew that all along, and I was just testing you guys. And so you smart, failed. so pretty. During the 1940s and 1950s, the Grand Avenue Bar at the Biltmore was part of the run of popular social gathering places for LGBTQ individuals. Some movies that have been filmed here are Blow, Cruel Intentions, Independence Day, Fight Club, Prom Night, and this is the hotel that Slimer haunts in Ghostbusters. Don't worry, I brought my shirt for tomorrow and to sleep in to make sure that. No ghosts get in. But enough about famous celebrities. Let's talk about the ghosts. Music change. Here's the thing about this hotel here, see? There is no one specific room that is said to be the most haunted. However, there are most haunted floors, which are supposedly the 9th, 10th, and 11th floors. Guess which floor we're on? The 8th. No, we're on the 9th floor. This floor is notorious for having a little giggling girl, which sounds adorable, not scary at all. That sounds kind of cute. Yeah, I'd like to see her. I won't tell you anything else about the ghosts in the Biltmore. We're just gonna have to go find some. We're not. We're gonna find some. I'm With that attitude, I am yeah. not going home until I find some. Not even just one, some. Oh. The sun's going down right now, and I'm ready to be haunted. So we are headed down to the pool right now, right before it closes, because apparently, the pool is the haunted. And so we are here at the pool, as you can see. Hopefully you can hear me okay. And we hid ourselves in the whirlpool entrance. <laughs> if anyone's wondering if you ever come here. Yeah. What's it say? It says green, zero activity. Cool. Give me a ghost. Oh, a yeah, ghost. Yeah, yeah. Oh. A ghost. <laughs> a ghost. We got ghosts. The guy just, we found ghosts. It's Mark. The guy just left. We should walk. Oh, let's go. We have literally four minutes before the pool closes. We have four minutes to find a pool ghost, a wet ghost. Anything? Anything? Hello, ghost. You want to know how warm the pool is? 83 degrees. The ground is 73. That's a toasty pool. Spooky shower. Ooh. Not haunted. <laughs> I don't know. There you are. Trash and sparkles. There's more stairs. Yeah, it's not these stairs. Ooh. And the stairs is one of the stairs. Oh, there was a little tiny jump. A little tiny jump on the Was that because I turned it on or was it real? I mean, it's definitely creepy, especially when you consider we're in downtown LA, which is by itself pretty spooky. It's Rita Hayworth, what a babe. Oh, hey, it's Judy Garland. She looks so little. Oh, come, come. So I haven't told you this ghost story yet, but one of the most infamous ghosts of the Biltmore Hotel is Elizabeth Short, the Black Dahlia. Pre-Dahlia-ing, I assume. I assume when they see her, she's walking around like so. She's never been caught on camera. Why, you might ask? I'm not saying it's because ghosts aren't real. I'm just saying. Check the EMF. The EMF. Right here. By her picture? Yeah, she hangs out there. She is said to hang out on the 10th and 11th floors. We are on the first floor. Oh. Elizabeth, is that you? Oh, I mean, it is doing a thing. A little thing. It's doing a little thing, don't worry. And now it's not. Nothing has changed except that some ladies walked down the hall and I got spooked, so I stopped. <laughs> I'll do it in front of millions of people on YouTube, but I will not do it to two ladies walking down the hallway. Hello, Elizabeth. Well, we'll see if maybe we Liz, can- Liz, come back. Find her on the ninth or 10th floor. Catch ya on the flip side. So not that flip side. Staff are called seeing short using the lobby telephone before her disappearance. So Interesting. You know what? We solved the Lizzie Borden murder. 
we could solve the Black Dahlia murder another, with the spirit box. Another Lizzie. <gasps> oh, true. Two Lizzies for the price of one. Very The Shining. This is Walt Disney, which I just stole from Peter's brain. He told me about it. I didn't know that a second ago. Walt Disney. That's Cecil B. DeMille, who made the first movie shot at the Biltmore called Triumph in 1923. Ralph Forbes? Question mark? So Walt Disney was given a full-size Oscar and seven little ones for Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So I think it's made to the fountain that the artist who painted these ceilings he wanted to be spread in. You know, the one that did the Vatican and the White House. He wanted to live forever. Here. So I think we're still in what's considered the lobby. That's another fountain. Maybe that's the fountain that he wanted to be That's in. probably it. Yeah. 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 Test it out. Because he also did this ceiling. So this is from all these restaurants. Yeah. yeah. So it oh, could be this one. Oh, that's probably the fountain. So we have here the spirit box. Let's see if we can find anything. We are next to Smaraldi's fountain where I believe his ashes were sprinkled. Very pretty in here, but supposedly full of ghosts. Breaking news. Apparently his ashes were not salt bayed into the fountain. It was just a request. And I guess for some reason they said no. Why would you say no? It's kind of up. It was it's his, kind of his up. dying request. His dying request and he did all this. Maybe his spirit's here because he's pissed that they didn't put him in the fountain. So he's like, bitch, I will be at the fountain whether you like it or not. The only way he will rest is once his ashes are in there. Yes, which at this point, not happening. I knew we're here today to release him back into his natural habitat. He's stuck in lobby limbo. All right, let's do it. Okay. Oh, it's because they're all on this floor. It's kind of creepy. No, no. Where's the animal creator? Do I have it? Wait, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, that's the question. I don't know. Okay. Are okay. they reset? Right. It? Are they okay. like working on them? Maybe they're working on them. Well, you can see where they all are. They're all. Yeah, it's not like they're moving. What on earth is going on down here? Oh, it came back. So yeah. I'm like afraid to get on it. What if I never come back? I was about to say, do you want me to see if, if I can take it off the floor? Yeah, Mark. Go have fun. Goodbye, Mark. Goodbye if we forever. never see you again, Goodbye, you may never here, leave. take this with you. Goodbye. Bye. It was so nice to know you. Uh, I'm so sorry, Mark. I'm um, sorry. He, he, he requested You just it. sacrificed your brother. I mean, he, he volunteered. You, is that the portal to the other side? Where does it say he is? Which, which, uh... I don't know. Uh, is that him going up? I hope so. Wh which floor did he pick? Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, oh, Mark! Oh my god. That was way too How fast. How did you do that, that fast? fast? Did you run down the stairs? Oh my god. This, they just took it up one floor. <laughs> you never cut, right? Uh, I don't know if we I We have cut, like an honestly. elapsed thing of that, right? <laughs> but why is it freaking out? I don't know. Looks like we're in hell, though. It feels like we're in hell. Didn't you say that the Black Dahlia haunted the elevators? They said that they've seen her in the elevators, too. That is true. The only activity we've had so far has been by her picture. And I said I wanted to talk to her again. Do you think she'd be doing this? Hmm? A new one's freaking out now. What are yep. you doing? No matter what, this does not inspire confidence, because either... It's either haunted or... I don't know how safe they are, just in general. 100 year old elevators. What's that? We should go down there. <gasps> there's, there's nothing. Caution open slowly, should you? What if you opened it quickly? Anthony, don't do it. This is a repeat of Holiday Inn. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. There's nothing that says anything about alarm. Why would there be, why would it be alarm? I'm having flashbacks. It might go to like Deja vu. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> More stairs, bathroom. Oh. It's a liminal space. Is it really? It's a liminal space. Oh, no. <laughs> it certainly is. Like floors. Should one of us hold this door open? Oh, They're about to come secure our asses. I'm holding the door open. Let it be known. It's not that I'm scared. It's just that. 
I'm scared of getting locked down here. <laughs> Anthony, <laughs> stop it. No, Anthony, stop. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it, Anthony. That is the best we saw. I still see his face. Just went to laundry. I just got a little blip. Well, what? All right, let's go. Let's go try to do some. Peter, but I just got a little blip. Peter, don't you want to meet a ghost? Ghost. <laughs> Hello. Say something. Anything. <laughs> I like you're talking to the EMF like it's creature. Freak. Hello. <laughs> 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 The night vision doesn't see anything. Okay. It's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm gonna take a photo though. Okay. I'm scared. What if I see a ghost? Uh, run. <laughs> there might have been there. Do it again, do it again, do it again. It's probably just a reflection. I thought I just saw something move, but I'm pretty sure it was my reflection in the mirror. I didn't realize there was a mirror over there. Nada. No. As usual. Come on, Biltmore, give me something. Peter, could you not? <laughs> Peter, please. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you, ghost. <laughs> the ghost did not agree. <laughs> oh. Uh, I don't have any electronics. I don't have my phone on me. I have my watch, but... I've had my watch next to me the whole time, holding the EMF reader up, and it hasn't done anything. I sat down on the bed and decided to turn it on, and now it's going. So good! It goes! Oh, it just flickered out to three. Alright, let's start communicating. You want to? Yeah, sure. You want to try? I was asking the ghost. Yeah. Alright, ghost, look, we're gonna get up close and personal in the dark, so don't do anything funny. Okay, let's start asking questions. Alright. Um... Blink. Thank you. If you are, hold on, hold on now. I gotta, I gotta prompt you. Are you a ghost? They gone. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think you're back. That might not be good. But they he, might be something yeah, else. Yeah, you didn't. They didn't answer when I asked if you were a ghost. Are you? Do you know what you are? It's blinking at those. Okay. Are you like a, like a demon? Oh, f it really went up to three, didn't it? Okay, not a huge fan of that. <laughs> do you do you want to talk to us? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, um, okay. Do you live here? Uh -uh. Oh my god, did you come with us? Oh, thank god. Are you good? Cool, 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 cool. Are you bad? Do you know what good and bad is? <laughs> Are you confused? It says yes. <laughs> I think that's a yes. Have you been here a long time? Oh. oh. Yes. All the phones are on airplane mode? Yeah. Yes. Are you still with us? A little flicker. There's if you're still here, can you light this up more so that we're confident that you're here? Okay. <laughs> That's weird. That's, uh... Do you want to tell us something? Oh my god. Okay, tell us. Uh, well, we gotta keep asking it. Would you like to tell us through the spirit box? Is that a lukewarm yet? Okay, huh? that's a yes. It's we'll blinking. Yes. It's blinking all the way to yellow. Okay. Can you tell us something through the spirit box if we turn this up right now? The hell is that? Am I playing? Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, wait a second though, but like... No, I had to have sat on it. I had to have sat on it. Cause I wait, listen, listen. Was... Listen what Mark's playing. And I guess for some reason they said no. Oh, why would you say no? It's got fucked up. It was, his, it was his dying request. His dying request, <gasps> and he did Ooh. Ooh, I got chills. That's creepy. I got chills. Is it Smiraldi? should have asked for Are you Smiraldi? Maybe his spirit's here because he's pissed that they didn't put him in the fountain, so he's like, bitch, I will be at the fountain whether you like it or not. The only way he will rest is once his ashes are in there. Yes, which, at this point, not happening. Did you... So he could be stuck here forever. Make sure we played this clip. I turned it off. Oh! Oh! Uh, is the clip relevant to your story? Whoa! <laughs> Thank
that was freaky how that played. It yeah, was, was yeah, it was very weird. Yeah, it was very weird at exactly the time. Like, why then? Okay, uh, we're, we're going to turn on the spirit box to see if uh, maybe you can come through to us through that. Is that what you want? Okay. Okay. Was that nice. was so creepy. It spiked when that happened too. It did. Should I turn it off? Yeah. No, hold on. Wait. That was freaky. You heard that? There was yes. a couple of freaky little ones. It was just yeah. a breath. You heard that? Yeah. yeah, hold on. It was just a breath. God, where's was the other you? Where's the other freaking thing? What are you looking for? My other mo my other recorder. What did it say? I feel like it sounds crazy. It sounded like this, the song that came through when it just spiked to three said, cause I'm dead. But maybe I'm just <laughs> hearing shit. That's scary. Yeah. Every time, we've heard the same thing every time. Can you hear it? Mm -hmm. It definitely sounds like it says because I'm dead. It does I'm dead. This thing started blinking right now when you said that. Did you purposely play because I'm dead on the spirit box? It did, but nothing now. Oh, it's flickering now. Yeah. It is flickering now. You little... Could you please not be camera shy right now? Every time the camera's pointed at it, it stops. Oh! Are you back with us? Are you back with a vengeance? It's blinking. A little flick. Do you want us to listen to playback? Ooh, I hear a voice in it. The breath. The f is that? Sounds like saying like go crazy. I'm hearing no cry. No something. Wait, this is going to. Oh, you want to chat? We were just getting to the to the good part, but if you would like to steal our attention, that's fine. We asked it to wait and not leave because Peter's looking for um, a memory card for a recorder so we can put it right up against the spirit box so we can get audio really clear. And uh, after Anthony asked it to wait, it didn't move once for a few minutes, and then he asked if he was still there, and it flickered. So let's try one more time. No blinking, right? Okay. Are you still? with us waiting for us to get set up. Maybe not. Are you bored? <laughs> you know what I noticed? You called it a he. Did you just get misgendered? <laughs> <laughs> it's a demon which doesn't have genders. It's always interesting when we walk around a haunted place and this thing doesn't go off at all. And then all of a sudden it starts doing all kinds of stuff. We have got a recorder for the spirit box. So if you're here, if anyone is here, could you please, hi. Are you here? It just flickered. Oh. There's some activity now. Oh. Can you please tell us something about yourself? What the? That didn't that seem like it was like part scream. of any. There's just a scream. Are you the little girl, or are you Elizabeth Short, or? It looked like it lit up when you said Elizabeth Short. Short. Are you Elizabeth Short? Right. We'll I wait. I feel like we lost him. No. Are you still waiting here with us? The, f the faintest of. Yeah, yeah, there was a flicker. It was a, up to three. Oh, probably got it on video, but I didn't see it. Oh, cool, son. Get a brand new cut, smile. Ooh! 
that? A brand new cut smile? That's what I thought it said. Too, it did right? say a brand new cut smile. Isn't that, wait, did they Black Dahlia smile? That's where it they comes cut from. They face, right? Yeah. That's did you communicate with us through the spirit box? I think we lost whatever we had here. Not them. But something but just was... said a brand new cut and then it flipped to smile. smile. I heard that too. That's creepy. Unfortunately, Elizabeth Short was murdered in a really, really gruesome way. If you don't already know the story of the Black Dahlia, she was left on a lawn in Los Angeles. She was, uh, dismembered, disemboweled. Her blood was completely drained from her body and she had her face cut from almost ear to ear uh, in what is now called a Chelsea grin or a Glasgow smile. It is very eerie that the spirit box, while we're here on a floor and in a place that is haunted supposedly by the Black Dahlia herself, would say brand new cut smile. That is very creepy. And they never found out who did it. They never found out who did it. I just can't believe that if you committed a crime that ends up being prolific, you don't like confess it on your deathbed. Yeah. Why not do it at that point? Like, why not give the family closure, solve the mystery? It's not like, you know, you're gonna go to jail for it at that point. Like, why not? Maybe they didn't live to their deathbed. Yeah, Maybe they died. died randomly. Um, you just break out in a rash? Why did I? Oh, shit. Okay, well, um, that's weird. Oh, yeah, it doesn't itch. Oh, okay. It's just a demon. What the fuck is that? Wait, where is Who's it? Who's screaming on the radio? You know? It's like it's between frequencies. What does it look like on the, the sound waves? right here. It's that. That's the only area of the audio waves that that looks like that, that intense. Are you a little actress? Didn't Elizabeth Short act? I think that she was an actress. She she wasn't like a known actress. Your spikes. Your spikes on your wrist. That's what the that's the rash. Oh yeah. That's the rash. <laughs> That's the rash. Because I have been sitting like Yes. That. So I just started doing some research on her, on Elizabeth Short. She was dubbed the Black Dahlia by the press for her rumored penchant for sheer black clothes. That's it? <laughs> oh my God. So this says that Elizabeth Short was an aspiring actress. So we've got a brand new cut smile, a woman's scream, like bloody murder scream. I don't know why that would be on the radio anyway you know like it's scanning through songs that you can recognize sometimes but like why a blood curdling female scream and yeah. it has little actress true there's a lot of different things all links mm -hmm. to blood mm -hmm. <laughs> elizabeth is that you oh, oh, oh. The body had apparently been washed by the killer. Short's face had been slashed from the corners of her mouth to her ears, creating an effect known as the Glasgow smile. She had several cuts on her thighs. <laughs> Thank God we figured out that this was just oh, my spikes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. If anything is here, anything at all, can you please show us what a yes would look like? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, are they actually moving? No, here? I did that. Oh. It's bullshit. Hi, again, full disclosure, I am very much a noob amateur at tarot card readings. I'm trying to do everything the right way, but if I mess something up, please be patient with me. I just want to uh, give whatever energy was going through the EMF reader, and I think the spirit box earlier, a chance to maybe communicate in another way through tarot cards. It's wild to me. This thing was going off for a while, on and off, between two and three lights. And it seemed to go off 
as a response to questions. It was very responsive, much like how it acted in Chateau Marmont, actually. We put all of our phones on airplane mode and then we we took a break to charge batteries and to do some research and it hasn't gone off once. It's been like very, very, just one light green, just like it was in the rest of the hotel. So, you know, if we can get through to something, I don't know if it will be whatever that was or a her or someone else. I know that Tara was really about helping you follow your own intuition. So in terms of asking for like, someone else to show up through the cards. I don't I don't know how much that really works, but I figure we have them. This deck is so pretty, so we'll try. Mark, do you have a question? Tell us about your final night. Okay. All right, Mark, we got the Princess of Wands reversed. All right, her last night. Deflation, freedom to fail, learning experience. So things have not been going according to plan lately. <laughs> Wow. Okay. I hate you. That's it. That's that, the card. It's like a fucking record scratch. Yeah, seriously. Like, like you're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> Grand ideas that used to inspire you have fallen flat after attempts to bring them to life. Wow. Wow. Mark. Jesus. It's a bummer, but don't let that stop you from trying new things. You're new to the game, so cut yourself some slack. It's easy to get stuck in perfectionism, which can paralyze you before you've even started. Luckily, the damage was minimal. Okay, so that's, this is no longer appropriate. Luckily, the damage was minimal, so you are able to recover quickly. Quote, failure is a detour, not a dead end street, said Zig Ziglar. Allow yourself the freedom to fail and get back up again. That seemed like a zinger. Like, <laughs> yeah. The first half was like, really. Spot on. But then it just became, yeah, like a singer. Yeah, like mean. Just mean-spirited. Yeah. I think that's a good place to stop with tarot. So we are walking around the ninth floor right now. It is about midnight. And we are doing so because the ninth floor is supposedly one of the most haunted floors in the hotel. And we're just gonna see if we see anything spooky, hear anything spooky, and we have the EMF reader, thermometer, etc. No activity yet. The street lamp. <laughs> and the EMF readers are flickering too. Okay. All right. The lights. That's so weird. I can kind of see. Is it? Mm. Are you trying to give us a sign? You ask a question. Why do you like this window? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is there something you don't like about this window? Did something, oh, did something bad happen here? Are we just asking a piece of plastic? Yeah, okay. All right, we're gonna go then. So we're gonna go up to the 10th floor and then the 11th floor because those are also apparently very haunted, and I want to check him out. There's a little boy on the 10th floor, and he doesn't have a face. There's a story of someone seeing him, I think a maintenance man or someone who was working on the building, and he saw the little boy with no face, and he ran out terrified, screaming, and they had to hire someone else. Well, there's a little boy on the 10th floor, and that was on the roof, so it might be the same little boy, or it might be two different little boys. That's true. There could be multiple little boys and a little girl. So, the little boy, slash, the little boy with no face, is on this floor. Keep your eyes peeled. Let's go. How do you feel? Do you feel like this is spooky? Yeah, but the floor is spooky and the color of lighting. Open. 
10th floor not haunted so far. Just the floor. Why are there no lights? I don't like that. Anthony, yeah, you go first. That's very far down. Oh, that makes me feel things that no human don't like. The 11th floor has nicer lighting. It's bougier. It's a little less creepy. What's going on there? I don't know. It just seems like it has to be reacting to something like electric. Or someone jumped from this window. There's a picture of a woman who supposedly jumped from the 11th floor, which we're on, to her death down below on the street. Could this be the window? This is a very active response. It sure is. It's only really, like right here, it's only one. And if I turn it this way... That seems more like electricity than... That seems yeah. like electricity. Oh. Yeah. But that makes the other times it's happened more interesting because it's been a lot more True. sporadic it's, it's and this feels like, like a current. This feels like depending on where I put it, it reacts. I like this floor. This floor actually feels cozy to me. Not creepy. A few years ago, a woman either fell to her death six flights or was pushed. A ghost. Her husband, who was auditioning for America's Got Talent, was staying here and he claims that he thinks that she was murdered and pushed. But uh, the reports found that she had access to her system, so did he, and it was ruled an accident. But regardless, in one of these stairwells, which we're walking right now, she died. Now we're going to try the second floor, because there's one more ghost story there. It's breaking me out. This is where the military, uh, World War II soldiers used to hang out, and supposedly there is a nurse ghost on this floor. So, you know, she sounds helpful, at least. I don't know about this. No, that's floor one. Well, we have to find another way for two then. That's anticlimactic. the table. Bring it back up to you. It's right there. It's on your shoulder. Am I the ghost? It's not the light. It's not the light. It's just me. It's on my shoulder. Okay, so uh, I guess we did find a ghost in the lobby after all. And it is either me or it's sitting on my shoulder. It's attached to you. Don't see that. <laughs> it's solid it green solid now. Right now. What what could that be? After saying it was attached to you, it's solid. Stop. What? It's not like thanks to your mic pack. I need to be cleansed. Does anyone know how to cleanse? Anthony, take a step sodas? back. Can you like use your hand around it? So we just came back from our hallway escapades and as soon as we came in, Anthony put the EMF reader down on the bed exactly where it was freaking out before. Mm -hmm. And it freaked out again, like yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. And then everyone got out their cameras and it stopped. He really does not want to be photographed in any way, shape or form. No action for hours. Yeah. We leave, we come back, we set it down and it's like, hey, 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 just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> I'm pissed, so I'm going to sleep. So if anything happens overnight, we'll be the first to let you know and we will see you in the morning. If we survive. I, we will. Hello, it is the morning and we lived. Yay. Yay.
Um, I wasn't strangled in my sleep. I was convinced I was going to be strangled in my sleep. You know what? I kind of was. I was choked by a ghost last night. What? You didn't hear me coughing? No. Coughed up a lung. It was the hotel AC. It, it dried out my throat. It wasn't a ghost. Mm. But I did wake up in a panic because my left arm was asleep, but that happens all the time. It's my watch. I can't sleep with my watch on. If anyone has solutions to fix that, Technology please let me know. Technology is killing us. And then I was like, my hands are all swollen because it's really hot. I went to the bathroom. My eyes got all adjusted to the light. I came back out here and I ran into that chair over there. I stubbed my toe and it hurt really bad. <laughs> this is the ghost we caught on camera. It's just me stumbling back into bed after stubbing my toe in the chair and waking everybody up. You wake me up. I slept like a baby. All right, well, you're not everyone. I did hear the slam. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. No ghost tickling our feet, giving us a little foot massage, a pedicure. Pretty disappointing. It really seemed like we had something talking to us last night. Right there, right where yeah. Peter is. Peter yeah. did sleep on that bed, by the way, because I was not. Just in case. He said he was a demon. Do you feel the ghostly presence? <laughs> Do you feel it right now that you're in his seat? No. Yeah. I'm pretty pissed that whatever was giving us a show left. I think that some of the shit that we did catch last night is pretty freaky. I don't think I gave it enough weight when we heard the spirit box say a brand new cut smile in a hotel where the most famous ghost is the Black Dahlia. The more I think about it, the creepier it is. This is kind of the problem I think with ghost hunting stuff is it's incredibly creepy. That could be explained as coincidence and or our brains are looking for anything that it aligns with the frame of reference that we're, we're looking at. What do they call that? Confirmation bias? Yes, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Confirmation bias. So definitely a lot of weird stuff. I don't know. She's a skeptic. I was only going to say it in the intro this time. <laughs> <laughs> you get one last thing to say. If you got anything to say, say it now, demon. That did bleep. Technology communication. Technology communication? It did say technology communication. And that thing go. blipped at the same time. Yeah, I guess what the demon's trying to say is it doesn't like technology and yeah. communication. It wanted good old analog ghost hunting, which we were not providing. Yeah. The age old question from less than 24 hours ago of where did demon go? <laughs> okay, so that's it. Thanks for ghost hunting with us. Bye. Bye. Peter. Snip snap, snip snap, snip snap. You have no idea the toll that three vasectomies has on a person. <laughs>